Hey guys, Triple T here, coming to you from none other than Pattaya City, right here in amazing Thailand. I'm gonna give you a little tour of this place today. It's probably gonna be different than anything you've seen before, but uh, everybody knows the circumstances globally and why a city that's dependent on its economy is like 80% tourism. So when you have an international city, a beach, beautiful beach bay city like this, then yeah, it's gonna be different than you've ever seen it before. Are you ready? Triple T, showing you Pattaya City. Let's go. Hey guys, Triple T here. I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world. I just wanted to give you a little shot of Pattaya City here in uh, August. This is the 2nd of August in the forgettable year of 2020. But I uh, haven't been up here in a long time and because it's daytime, it gives me an opportunity to show you around some of the most infamous areas of Pattaya City and see what's going on, all right? Uh, I've had a quick look myself before I started filming for you, and let's just say uh, there's something missing. There's something very important missing from right here in Pattaya City in amazing Thailand. Let's go. Hey guys, Triple T here, coming to you from the infamous Walking Street in Pattaya City, amazing Thailand. So this is Sunday, August the 2nd. I just wanted to make a little vlog about this amazing Thai city. I know a lot of people think it has a bad reputation for the entertainment nightlife area, but I can tell you that this city has a long history and it has a lot to offer other than those entertainment zones like we are right now at the Walking Street. And actually there's quite a few things here at the Walking Street uh, that do cater to family and stuff. So uh, you do often see children coming down here, all the girls that are that are working at the uh, go-go's and stuff are all in bikinis nothing's uh you know full nudity or anything like that so not that i would bring my children here but you actually do see it and there are a lot of things in this city that are family related and in chonbury province specifically a lot of great outdoor parks floating markets like really really good family stops but uh i wanted to make this little vlog about Pattaya. And I know there's a lot of Pattaya vloggers and you can watch them as to what the actual details of the current economy and stuff like that because Triple T is not based out of Pattaya and I do not know all those details. But I can tell you I've seen a little bit of stuff here since before I started this vlog footage today and uh, there's a lot of things closed. So obviously Pattaya economy, the local economy here in Pattaya City 
is probably 80% based on international tourism. So it has definitely had a major impact on this city, major, major impact, and I'm sure you all know that. But I'm not here to give you those details because I don't want to give you misinformation. We're just going to see what we can see. But I do want to give you a little history about this city as we go into Walking Street here. So let's take a little walk on the infamous Walking Street. And for those of you that don't know, the beach is right here. This is all beachfront right behind this building. It's right here on the right. So anyway, we are on the beach at the Gulf of Thailand on the eastern seaboard. The province is called Chonburi. And this is Pattaya City. Now, this is just one area, one small area called Walking Street. It's very, very famous all over the world. So many of you watching are probably like, yeah, teacher, we know we've been there, right? And this uh, at night is closed to all motorcycle and car traffic, and it's only for walking. And so you can see there's many, many restaurants. And uh, this is a dance club here with the horses on the left. Uh, I think this one is too. Yeah, mu live music. They had a lot of live music down here. So it's not all about the Go-Go's and, and the bar girls and stuff like that. I found it interesting that this 7-Eleven is closed. We got some music. Jamming out. The trash men are jamming out. We got to get this. Rock on. Sabari cop. I like the music. So yeah, you never know what you're going to see in Thailand. But these signs, these big billboards are brand new. I know those weren't there before when I was here. And uh, I'll show you the, uh, the amazing stuff that they've done to the beach here in just a second. But while we're walking down the infamous walking street, I don't have to explain everything that you can see because you can see it, right? So I do want to give you a little history. Now, now, when you read the history of Pattaya, it hardly gets pulses racing. But Pattaya has been regarded as Thailand's fun city since back in the 1970s. It was at the time of the Vietnam War that Pattaya really started to develop a reputation as a place where you could relax and enjoy life. This was at the end of the late 1950s and the early 1960s when U.S. GIs would frequent the same place in what these days would be known as Walking Street. So if you can picture the uh, American GIs walking this street right here, that's what was going on back in that era. As the numbers increased and with it the amount of foreign money that was coming into the town, the number of restaurants, hotels, and bars also started to increase with the opportunity to earn some of the money that would have previously been unheard of. Girls from across Thailand started to flock to the city in the hoping of finding a love, or perhaps more accurately, money and security. Pattaya had started the evolution process to become the city that we know today. So that's kind of a brief, brief interlude of, of some of the history, and I would encourage you to study more history. But I, I know that in 1965, the first major hotel opened in Pattaya. It was called the Nepi Lodge, which is now the Busaya Beach Hotel and Resort. There are a number of bars that try to stake claim to being the oldest, but most records seem to point to a select few that opened in the early 1960s, including Charlie's Hideaway and Suzanne's. So Charlie's Hideaway and Suzanne's, two of the first bars on record that were opened here in Pattaya. So before that, it had no bars. It didn't even have any hotels. It was basically a fishing village. So then in 1967, the Royal Thai Navy base at Utapal, which you guys know, that's right down by me, at Sata Hip in Banchang. Uh, it allowed the first US aircraft to fly from the airport, take part in active service in the operations over Vietnam. Pattaya became the most obvious place for US troops to hang out during the R&R. &R. And the small village, as it was back then, was now starting to see rapid growth 
and a rise in popularity. Pattaya had become so popular by this time that the US military organized flights from Saigon to Bangkok so that US servicemen could recuperate. It is believed that 16,000 troops would come for five days every month. The notion of a fun city had well and truly begun. So, you know, they opened flights from Saigon directly to Bangkok, and then all those GIs would come down here. So, you know, regardless of your opinion on the uh, working girls and in the entertainment zones, red light districts, as we all know them, in Thailand, I think when you study the history of it, it kind of starts to make sense. And it's not, uh, it's not an enslavement of people that are working down here because they have no other options in life, okay? I read you some brief history. I know you get it. That's what happened when you got 6,000 Americans every month on R&R full of cash fighting in the war over there. And then started flying into Utapal, directly to Utapal, which is, you know, 25 minute drive from here. So back then it was probably an hour drive, but because the older roads, but that's kind of gives you some brief history. Uh, I don't come here at night unless, I mean, I have been here a few times with friends and groups, but you know, my channel is not gonna be about come to these places at night because I don't like to put people on camera if I don't know if they want to be on camera so uh, especially people that are working in an industry that uh, should be discreet right so that's uh, not quite the end of walking street but you can see the end of it right down there and like I say all of this is uh, completely closed to vehicle traffic beginning at dark so this is complete walking street you don't have to worry about about that when you're walking here but it can get so packed that this entire w wide pretty wide because there's no vehicles parked anywhere either uh, when it's all walking street pretty wide area can get packed shoulder to shoulder i mean it's it's hard to get through here so it's an international city i'm sure a lot of you that are watching this have been here right and i'm not telling you anything you don't know but this is for those that haven't been here that haven't been to thailand it's a great experience to come down here to Walking Street. And of course, nobody knows for certain uh, about the future right now. Uh, all I know is I'm here during the day and it's dead. And I see a lot of things that are closed down, but that's, you know, due to something that uh, nobody in this modern era has ever lived through. No one alive today has ever lived through. So I think the future of this city is going to be pretty amazing and, uh, I want to take you down here on a little motorcycle ride. We're going to go along Beach Road uh, when we when we finish the trip. So if you don't know, Beach Road is a one way. Beach Road is a one way. So you have to turn right when you come out of Walking Street here and come back around to Beach Road to come back uh, east into Walking Street. So you cannot go west out of here at all. So yeah, you got to turn north and then make the block. So we're, I'm going to have a taxi driver do that for us, show you a little bit of the city, and that'll pretty much be the end of this little vlog. I hope you've enjoyed uh, Triple T's version of Pattaya Walking Street. Uh, I'm thrilled that I can be out here during the day and not be uh, not be bothering anybody, right? So uh, that, that was an ample opportunity for me. I just uh, got back from Bangkok on my way home. I uh, got some business affairs done in Bangkok for the the new business the open mic the uh, corporation is getting registered right now with a dvd so got that done and uh, i thought you know what a perfect time for me to stop in here and show you what i can see here in Pattaya, which is as you can imagine historic because you're looking at a million tourists at any given time right here in this area a million so there's none obviously the people that are stuck here and couldn't get out that were on tourist visas they got you know amnesty extended all the way till september 26 so nobody's had to leave since the emergency orders came down in march so uh it's either that or long long stay expats that's the only foreigners here 
and without international tourism a city like this is naturally going to be devastated it truly is if you're looking for a decent hotel nothing fancy older building but pretty well kept the grand hotel it's right down here so you'd be staying right in this tall white building right here on walking street but uh, the walls are all concrete and good windows so that you have no trouble sleeping i've stayed there in the past and uh it's excellent if if you know if you want to do a lot of walking street because normally people stay in central pachaya over by lk metro or up soy bucal or something like that then you take the bot bus down here to walking street but if you really want to just go real slow and really learn everything about all these back roads and back alleys and everything that's going on here at walking street and you want to stay right here look up at grand hotel if i remember i'll put a link of it in the description box always look in the description box for links because i know that that matters if i uh happen to give a shout out to a business so anyway this is it guys let's go catch a motorcycle taxi right up here and i'll show you around a little bit more Fat? Uh, uh, Bat? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, สุโขทัยสุโขทัยสุโขทัยสุโขทัยสุโขทัยสุโขทัยสุโขทัยสุโขทัยสุโขทัยสุโขทัยสุโขทัยสุโขทัยสุโขทัยสุโขทัยสุ
nice shot. Riding group. a stormy day coming to Pachiga.
soy bucal. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. And then soy six, yeah. So buy soy bucal, buy soy six. Chai. I forgot your name, Toby. Yeah. Don't you and I again? My name Bear. Bear. Like a grizzly bear? Yeah, oh. bear. Okay. His name is Bear. Bear. How long you stay, Fatia? Oh. 20. 20 years? Yeah. Easy Bilal. Fatia. Okay. You ride motorcycle long time, Jai Mai? Yeah. Jai.
What saw is this? That side there. Soy six. Oh, okay. Soy six, Patia. What can I say? Only during the daytime, the Triple T brings something like this to you. This is awesome. I'm glad you're getting to see the areas. Maybe some adult adult content on the signs, but my audience is supposed to be for adults. So let's check this place out. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool during the day, I gotta say. Just hopped off the motorcycle here at Soy 6 and Beach Road in Patia City. Ordered a little breakfast, got some scrambled eggs on a piece of bread, some ham, lunch meat ham, a little bit of tomato, and some toast here. And it was uh, 149 baht, I believe. So around four dollars and fifty cents, something like that. Not much, but hey, it'll do. Hi right, guys, right here on Soy 6. So uh, we just had breakfast right here, and uh, no, I'm not going to recommend it. So it was okay, 170 baht. I had a Coke, coffee, and juice, so I did uh, have a lot of drinks, but not expensive, just not that wonderful. And it's windy out here, and I don't have my my stupid wireless microphone with me because it wasn't windy earlier when I started this little trip. So hopefully won't be too bad but I just wanted to show you this Patia Beach because it's really had a lot of renovations this used to be one of the crappiest little beaches in all of Thailand as far as I was concerned it was just my opinion on that it was really steep really steep and went straight off and uh, not much beach after the umbrella chairs there and now I mean they brought in metric tons metric tons of sand try to block some of that wind metric tons of sand and made a huge wide beach from all the way up to the circle roundabout up there at soy one and beach road we're at soy six now all the way to walking street so it's a it's a huge wide long beach and my cadets and the rural thai army academy were telling me two years ago that Patia Beach was going to be like Thailand's Miami Beach and I just laughed about it. It was one of the worst beaches, I'm not kidding. And they knew what they were talking about because now it's amazing. And it's very, very clean. I mean, it's very clean. So, but what's missing? What's missing is the people. Well, here's Beach Road. Check it out. Like I say, it is windy, guys. Very windy. It wasn't like this earlier, or I would have uh, made sure I had my wireless mic with me. So I know you're probably getting a lot of wind. We're not going to walk the whole beach here, but I just want to give you a feel of the investment. Now, I didn't look up all of the latest articles in the Bangkok Post and elsewhere about this renovation project at Patia Beach, but I will look for that and I will put a link down in the description box of uh, the project itself, the renovation of the beach, because this just occurred recently. Uh, and it's just a weird timing that we ended up having this uh, global situation right after the uh, Royal Thai government had invested all these uh, millions of dollars down here at the Patia Beach, because trust me, it's it had to add up to a lot of money. This is a Long Beach Road, and this big, deep manhole cover is all new. It used to flood a lot. It had manhole covers on the other side, but not on the beach side. And this is like, you can almost walk underground here all the way from first road to walking street so that was a major construction project you see the new curb so all of that's new and so the the beach road should not flood anymore like it used to but look i mean this is sunday august the second uh it's cloudy but we haven't had any rain a little bit of mist but it's a beautiful day to be at the beach and there's no people guys uh patia is probably 80 percent or more dependent on tourism for their local economy here and 
that's why I don't feel the impact of it down in Rayong province because it's basically the opposite of this. Uh, Rayong province is probably one of the lowest uh, provinces in Thailand for tourism. This Rayong city itself is, is not geared at all towards tourism and Ban Chang where we live is a little bit but not, not that much. It's mostly uh, only tourists that actually know that area because there's so many beaches in between here and Ban Chang, you know. You go to South Pattaya and then you got Jom Tien and all the beaches so so you can see, I mean, what's missing is the people. nobody here guys it's starting to get a little rain now but it's been a beautiful day all day and it's uh early afternoon now it's been a beautiful morning and there's just nobody here guys really i mean it's it's, it's kind of sad i mean you could tell there's a few people that live here but that's about it Yeah, guys, kind of, kind of a pretty good fitting ending for this little Pattaya City vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, it's dreary. It's raining now, but not too much. I didn't get very wet or anything. Hopped on the motorbike and brought you right back where we started. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I'd just like to say that I think all of us should have a realization that what we see here in this amazing tropical beach city is happening all over the globe especially in the tropics where people often frequent and even you know everywhere from the northern hemispheres from moscow to to uh, st petersburg to canada and you know ontario toronto uh you know washington state all over the world people do a lot of traveling in the summer months and here we are you know second of august uh, dog days of summer and uh, there's no international travel so I think that uh, when we look at something like this that's very very famous and international and we see the economic uh, catastrophe that's happened all we can do is realize that it's happened everywhere in the world so all of humanity should try to unite to get uh, past this and uh, all of us should hope and pray and think or however you choose to do it uh, about a very bright future for not only Pattaya City but all of the destinations all over the world that have been impacted with no international tourism so all right man triple t coming to you from Pattaya City i hope you enjoyed it remember peace and love to everyone and be happy okay triple t signing out